Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. I am super late. And boy, do we have a lot of explaining to do. Every weekday, our routine for chores is that Sophie goes with Sam to do horses, and then I meet her in the goat barn. Well, today, I'm late. I'm on my way. Did you not go in? And? like what is going on don't come to me I got nothing I'm literally trying to make survive the path down uh, I'll be back I promise I'm coming do you guys remember when we bought Leo his name was Zoe and we thought it was a girl we prayed it was a girl we wished it was a girl and then through a lot of careful observation we realized it was a boy he had that really long neck he used to stick his neck out really far to be like protective of our duck and that's what the boys do plus he is really quiet and he makes the same kind of sounds that a boy goose does like a, a, a gander so we know so we knew he was a boy but then you guys know once they started laying eggs that his gender came into question and, and so we researched it a little bit more and we decided that we, we were right. We did, we were right, you guys. We got it, we know he's a boy. And then this morning I read a bunch of comments saying like, that is not a duck egg. And I'm like, we've never had duck eggs before, but we have had a goose egg before. But well, someone I follow on TikTok has duck eggs and they're the same size and she has goose geese mixed in. Yeah, and she gets duck eggs the same size. So today I was like, oh, let's look at eggs. And I looked up eggs. And I think you guys are right. I think we were wrong. I think, see, I Leo's can't admit we're wrong. We think Leo's a girl. Leo's a boy. We think Leo's a girl because the duck, the eggs that we have right now are definitely leaning more towards goose eggs. The only way we can figure this out if we get a boy and if he tries to make a so uh, this morning, Sophie came down, and wh why I was laughing was because she said, I called Leo, and I said, hey, Zoe, and he looked. <laughs> so that to her means that Leo is really oh, a Zoe. So we are, for the time being, turning Leo back into Zoe. So he has two names. follow along, people. <laughs> he has two names. Our goose turned into a gander, turned back into a goose, and her name is Zoe. And if that is not confusing enough for anyone, I don't know what a is. A gander is a boy. And a drake is a boy for ducks. But anyway, Both let's feed boys. these geese, or let's feed these goats. Because today could turn out to be an exciting day. And let me tell you why. Sorry. See, I don't know what they get, so. So the, the goat, pregnant goats are only getting alfalfa cubes right now because we don't want the babies to get too big. So at the end of pregnancy, we cut the grain. So that's something that I haven't shared with you guys because there's just so much going on. It's hard for me to share everything. Hey, Zoe. Sorry, looking at you. She's a girl. I can't believe she's a girl. That's, that explains why he doesn't try and. Just wait till I get my goose egg. Then you can see that's a duck egg. Oh, Sylvie, it's for sure a goose egg. Sophie just said that she's only had one name in her life and little Miss Zoe has already had two. <laughs> she's so quiet. The other goose that we had that we were sure was a girl because they are noisier was so noisy. She's yeah, just been a dream. I mean, she honks at us. I imagine what life is going to be like with boys then though. Like It's going to be so quiet. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be awful. Like. Our girls are so sweet and kind. Maybe, maybe Gus was a boy then. Yeah, maybe Gus was a boy. No. What do we know? The farmer that sold us, Zoe, told us that they figured it was a girl. <laughs> so we believed them and we bought them and we bought her. And then out through careful observation in our uneducated, never having geese before brain, we decided that she was a boy. She's happier that I called him Zoe. <laughs> Sophie cracks me up. Like living with Sophie is I so told funny. Him and then he tried. She. It tried. To <laughs> <laughs> what are your pronouns? We want to know. <laughs> 
She's like, I don't care. I'll go buy anything. They, them. That's what it is. She said they, them, because nobody really knows. Yeah. Other than I'm sure she's laying eggs. And and Lucy, you are not holding up your end of the bargain. Yeah, Lucy, Start okay. laying. Regardless, our experience having geese and ducks has been the most incredible. Hey, Ellie, leave them. Has been the Are most you? incredible experience ever. There's actually a possibility that when she gets a mate, she won't be in love with you anymore. She'll put all that onto her mate. Do you guys know what my biggest issue right now is? Okay, it's not like the biggest issue, but you know, Ellie is cleaning herself right now. She's like, don't video me. She poops in the barn. Better than in the house, but still, it drives me crazy. I'm sure she like smells the smells like the goose just pooped there. I'm sure she smells, like, it does not smell awful in here at all. It's so nice, but maybe because it's cold and, and breezy out. But she poops in the barn every single day. Like, she just poops in the barn and she'll wait and wait and wait. Even if I leave her outside, she will wait to poop in the barn. She just wants to be a farm animal. <laughs> They're all very unhappy about the amount of grain that they get now. These two slow The reason that today could be extra amazing is because I got an alert on my phone today. Today, oh no, marks 150 days from the time that our buck got out for the very first time. So I wrote down that Tilly was in heat that day, so Tilly Ellie. could officially have a baby today. So after Sophie's done school, we're gonna go back, come back down here and we're gonna um, assess them. Her bay, her milk bag looks bigger, does it? No. So uh, today marks the official start of a breeding season. If Tilly does not give birth anytime in the next couple of days, then it's more likely that she got bred when I actually decided to breed them three weeks later because it was so difficult to keep them separated. Um, so we decided to breed a little bit early, a month earlier than our plans. We decided we wanted to breed them for March. Uh, these babies, if she's not due today, these babies will be due at the beginning of March, at the end of February, beginning of March, which I felt was not too bad because it's usually starting to get warm by March. But as it is for right now, nobody looks like birth is imminent. We're hoping that she has two babies in there. Praying her mom had twins her first time. And she's peeing. She's peeing. <laughs> she, they look so cute when they pee. And she looks super, super fat, but it's all fur. Like when I feel her, she's not super, super chubby. We're gonna get you some fresh hay. We put hay over here for her. But today officially does mark breeding season for us because it's the beginning of when our goat started getting out. So anything is possible. We felt like we caught him just in time. So who knows, we're gonna see. Maybe we'll have babies today. Stay. Everybody stay. stay. Ah, stay. Ellie, stay. Stay. Hey, stay. Hey, Ellie. Stay. <laughs> Look at the only one who stayed. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, it's hard to break a habit. We've worked on that in the house and they're doing great. Ellie's doing great. We haven't worked on it in the barn. Lucy's in her swimming pool. And Zoe's Zoe. waiting for her pool. Zoe. Can't believe Zoe's a girl. It's a girl. It has to be a girl. So if he still doesn't believe. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. It's a All right. So Gabby just got home and she had a cooking exam today and she had to cook food. Did you cook it in a group or by yourself? Group. A group. Mmm. It That's looks so stuff. good. That She's going to heat like it up. Mashed potatoes and cheese. What country was your. Was it from? Mexico. It has a Mexico. Ton of spices in it. Oh, we're it's excited. It's not spicy. It just has a ton of different spices. As we were cooking it, we were like. That is a lot of spices. That's cool. Oh, you got more stuff too. Did it come with sour cream? Pasta. Oh. So, oh my Still gosh. Packed we are going to eat good today. That looks disgusting. It really actually tastes good. I think it looks really good. I'm excited to try it. So, there's also a uh, sausage in it. I love sausage. In fact, I feel like sausage for dinner. It is glorious outside today. It's supposed to be snow what? falling off the roof. The horses. Oh, the horses are like, oh, hell no. And it's slippery. Holy moly. What roof did it fall off of? Oh, the goat bar. Look at that goat bar. Yeah, look at that. That's like a, a steep drop. The goats, all, or the horses all went running. It's supposed to be warm all the way till Sunday, and I love it. It's like spring. It's glorious outside. 
We had to get out of the house because Gabby's studying for exams and it's awful! <laughs> I hate it! Okay, I was throwing my mochi at the ball. If you are near Gabby when she's studying, you get inducted into to studying with her. She wants you to ask her questions I'm, and I don't mind helping. And I don't mind helping at all, but it's the worst subject. She, This is her worst class that she has the exam for tomorrow. It's the worst. Anyway, Sylvie and I said we had to go outside. We had to break free and do some stuff. What? He ripped the whole strap off. Who did? Storm. Broke his blanket? Yeah, he ripped that part off. I just undid this and it went Oh my goodness. Hello, princess. <laughs> She's like, I'll come. Look at it, it's like the, the snow is thawing. We're gonna have a little bit of mud here. I've seen people say that there's no excuse for any mud when you have horses. I think that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. If you are extremely rich, then it is possible you won't have horses. I think it's not good to have a ton of mud. I think that it's something you have to maintain and manage every single season, which Stan will be doing this year. He'll be scraping all our mud. Our horses are not sitting in piles of mud, but when you have horses and you have any farmyard, you're gonna have some level of mud. Where those so excited goes? And there's also going to be times where you're in the process of working through mud. So you're going to have a lot more mud in the spring or you're going to have some mud in the what spring and then you're going to and then you're going to clear it out. Like I I honestly was so surprised to hear somebody to hear people say that if you have horses, there's no excuse to have any single bit of mud. Okay, she's a little chubby for that. Don't break that fence. This is one of the fences that we're fixing this season. Go quick. She says go quick, but it's like going downhill on ice. Whoa, I can't believe how gorgeous it is out here. She just walks right beside you. She's such a good girl. Also, I don't think she's ever been in this barn. Also, I do think Can that I do think that it is possible to not have any mud, especially if you live in a different kind of climate. But when you live in this kind of a climate that has all four seasons and a lot of rain, then I think we have a temperate climate. Then obviously you're going to have some mud at some times in the year. She looks thinner because her hair is all pressed down. Yeah, she's still Hi, chunky Peter. though. Oh, she cute. still looks good. I was all braggy with my friend. I'm like, oh my gosh, our duck laid an egg finally. Did your duck lay an egg yet? And she's like, no, not yet. And, and the truth is our duck did not lay an egg yet either. So yeah, <laughs> there's that. Well, we gotta go take everybody's blankets off then. I'm gonna call dad and tell him to go take the blankets off. Recently, we stopped feeding our goat grain. <laughs> Settle down. Oh my god. So I took a picture of her udder, a video of her udder the other day, and I said it was beautiful. And I do think it's really beautiful. Someone said that is so super knowledgeable. I'm so grateful to have her on our channel because she clearly knows what she's talking about. But she said that her udder sucked. And I was like confused by that because everything that I've always read and what I know to be accurate for goats is that you can never tell like a first freshener's Utter, especially before it fills up with milk. She doesn't have any milk in it yet, not really. So it's really difficult to tell if it's good or bad. But also I've always read that even if it's not perfect this year, it sometimes takes two seasons before um, you can really get an idea of what their udder looks like. And then, so that's what confuses me. How can you tell um, a first freshener's udder before it's even full of milk. How can you tell you if it's good Willa? or if it's not good? But also, because all I saw through the window is her cow fin back up. Also, someone else asked, like, what does it matter if they have a nice udder? <laughs> Which made me laugh because, yeah, it does seem kind of dumb. Like, who cares if her udder is pretty? <laughs> But I think that the big reason why it's important to have a nice udder is for the longevity of the goat. You don't want to buy a goat that's not going to have a nice udder because if they have really good attachments and the goat is going to last longer. You should look up pictures of goats that don't, that have like bred a lot, been bred a lot of times or that don't have really good attachments. I've seen pictures of udders like dragging on the ground. They get so worn down by the baby and they're just not attached really good. They're just, it leaves them so much more susceptible to infection when their udder is dragging on the ground like that. And the longevity of the goat is honestly compromised by not having a good attached udder. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, it is important. And then someone else pointed out like these are just pet goats. And yeah, that's exactly right. We do plan to like 
um, start with registered goats really soon. This summer we're going to get one or maybe two at registered goats. Lilla just is walking around everywhere. She just comes in and out all on, on her own, whatever she's thinking. I help here. So today, she this goat... Screaming, she runs away. This goat literally... Look, at she looks almost like she's dropping. Yeah, let's feel her. She, <laughs> so she just climbed right up on this thing and went right like she what, knew what to do. So they're learning... They're just not in love with us feeling their udder. And so she has literally, actually her udder seems like it's grown a little. It's okay. Uh, Blossoms is growing a lot, but that's a first freshener thing. But also, why did I think their horns were behind their ears? It's hard to feel when they tuck in. Mom, but I have mental illness. <laughs> Don't we I all? Thought, I thought their horns were behind their ears. So I was like, yeah, the hat would fit. No. Oh, she brought down a hat. Did you bring it down? Oh. Anyway, she's for sure due in a couple of weeks. So all we're doing today and a lot of days is bringing them in, feeling them up so that they get used right. to it. And she just climbs right up on this thing and before she didn't. So that's like a huge, a huge thing. I feel like it's hard for me to say all the things that I want to say okay. when oh, I'm filming, when I have the goats in here because so much is going on. Like, oh, you get So this is the one that's technically due today based on Stop being like that. Stop. You guys really want to see this based on the first time our boy got out and her udder is definitely growing a lot a lot in her babies. I don't know how many babies she has in there but hopefully she's got a lot of babies in there because she's chunky. I feel like her ligaments are a lot thinner, but it's harder to feel when she tucks her body like that. Interesting. We're learning a lot being able to bring them in every few days and feel them, feel them up. She's like, this doesn't happen when yeah, I need you here. She does not like it. But look at how cute she is. So something else that the girl me. that is obviously very goat informed oh, did that. said that another reason that we should sell this goat is because this is she has the coloring of a pygmy. You're a pygmy, or she's half pygmy, or she's she got is a pygmy. no, she's Nigerian dwarf. The place that. Well, what do you think Lola is? Lola is Nigerian. Lola's like here. No, it's her coloring and her body shape. She has the body shape of a so of a pygmy. Shape. I know, but we want, but a, a pygmy is a meat goat, so they're probably not going to get the kind of milk supply that we want. They're not, she's yeah, she not a dairy going, goat. So. so the place that, um, the people that we bought her from got her from a place that only has Nigerian dwarf. So she's not registered, you can't tell for sure, but she definitely has the coloring of a pygmy and the look of a pygmy. So she's got some pygmy in her, at least I feel she does. Down she's followed us. <laughs> <laughs> she just came in the barn and said, all right, you describe the path of the respiratory illness. Yeah. <laughs> we can't get away from it. Um, Through the nose or the mouth. Hang on. Air. Wait, shut up. Rosie, where are you going? <laughs> She's dedicated. You want it up here we so need a, uh, Come on, get up here. At least. No. Two. I don't know. I don't. Uh. No, it's down, but we're gonna ignore that. She's too okay, fat. She go. doesn't take her eyes away from it. Down. Me. Was it your tree? Come on. Inhale the air. Why'd you leave all your papers at home? No, is it? No, it's pharynx and larynx, then trachea, right? Yeah. Oh no. I need help. Girl, <laughs> okay, need hold on. Fat. I'm gonna go help. So Gabby find the little printer for her studying. Yeah, come back down. No, I'm gonna get my horse ready and take her for a walk. Yeah, that's coming back down. No, you meet me there. Anytime you deal with the goats, it's chaos. And then you add kids, then it's even more chaos. And then you add horses. Actually, the horses are good. Horses are good. You guys, horses are easy. And did you guys know, I like read all the goat stuff all the forums and stuff and goat people are kind to each other isn't that crazy goat people are all kind to each other all of them like they're all kind to each other it's it's shocking no matter what happens they support each other 
Anyway, I don't think Tilly's gonna have babies today. She has hardly even grown an udder. So I think for sure we're in the clear and she's three weeks away, but little, but little Blossom is definitely racing toward birth. She has maybe a week and a half or so left. And I see changes in her body every single day that make it seem like she's definitely gonna pop soon. All right, so I tried to bring Penny. Do you want the brat, wait. Do you want the brat want, or the angel? I want the angel. Watch it, watch. Yeah, okay. So I tried to bring Penny and Penny said no. So. See, are you sure you want the angel? Yeah, I want the angel. Give me the angel. I got the brat. <laughs> I don't know how this happens. I should be able to choose. It is a lot of stress. Homework, that school, exams. <laughs> that stresses me out more than even the goats because then I'm trying to do like two things all at once. And when I go back in the house in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna have to help <laughs> her study. It is gorgeous. on a nice walk with the ponies. But now it's time for me to go in and help Gabby so that she can ace her exam. Can't you see? 